Hello, tubers. Well, we're running out of things to fix. Well, not really, but uh, this is the last mo. Uh, uh, this craftsman over here, I think, needs a new uh, crank seal. I'm still trying to figure out where it's leaking oil from. But other than that, it runs fine now. Um, Tor, uh, Tor here was good. Honda's looking good. Turo in the back has got some issues. It doesn't want to run when it's hot. Or don't maybe a valve issue. Um, that green one there, got to pull the engine for something else. The deck's scrapped. And I got this. Yeah, we got some two cycle stuff here to work on. Uh, got a, um, uh, a Craftsman, which is really an MTD. And I believe the other one is a Black Max. Um, I don't like two cycle as much as work on, but anyway, well, we're gonna, this, this video is going to be on this 1996 Scots by Murray. Um, uh, the top of it's over here. I was looking at it earlier, several weeks ago. This is an interesting priming system. This isn't an auto choke. They have a thing up here. Where the directions say you're supposed to do this, and that controls the cable that goes down to here that pushes, that basically does the priming for you. Well, unfortunately, that cable was broken. So, what I'm going to do is probably just take off all this, all this stuff up here, because what that cable was doing was basically doing this, which is priming it. So I'm going to take off all this stuff and then put a, uh, put a primer box on it uh, that I've got in my, I took off a scrap mower. So uh, let's first of all spray some go-go juice into it and see if it'll kick over. Previously taking the air filter off, it was horrendous. So let's... Uh, just do that and see if we got some sparkage. So we got sparkage. So that, and it ran and died. There is compression, so that tells me we got a fuel delivery problem, famous law, which is like 90% of everything. Anyway, what I'm gonna do is go through the carburetor. I'm gonna take off this priming system to put on a regular box, a regular priming box. I just got the cover off. Guess what's underneath it? It's a primer. It, and this thing just pushed, this thing would just, what this, the cable would do was, it would just push this in against the primer bulb based off the cable every time you did it. That's clever, but why? Anyway, it's, it, it is made by Murray, so the old Murray. And they had some uh, interesting designs. I've never seen anything like this. Okay. Other things, uh, I will need to replace the pull cord because it's not right. And this fuel line is hard as a rock. It's probably original for when this was made in 1996. No big deal. This oh. contraption thing off is just, uh, what is it, 5 16th bolt. And then this just comes off, this piece of, well, you know, piece of junk. Oh, just make this a regular primer. No, no tricky thing. 
Anyway, this will be your throttle, I believe. Or, oh, this is your, gonna be your throttle here. Uh, this may have been something for a choke. That's not gonna be used anymore. This will be your th throttle. So I'll, I'll probably have to bend this. Someone probably bend it. So let's just uh, look at the carburetor now. So let's take the fuel line off. I may end up just cutting it because this thing is really, really petrified. Let's see. There we go. Ah, there. Now, might be good enough for now. Once I get it going, I can always change it. So, now we got to get these three bolts out. And there's gonna be one linkage there. Let's go look at this. Now see with me. Ugh, that's not, it's on really tight. Oh, that's not good. I'm seeing a bunch of junk. In it, and let's uh, get it, crack it open. Let's see. Ew, okay. It's stuck like this. Well, it isn't half bad, but it's stuck like this. It needs a, re and this won't go down. It needs a rebuild. Let me see if I have another carburetor um, before I go off and rebuild this one. Because it's got, it's all corroded. See all that white? It's probably all ethanol. Isn't the worst I've seen, right? So, let me go take a look at mine. The parts. Uh, bull nut jet is all clogged, and the gasket just broke my hands. So, I'm gonna look through my box of carbs and see what I find box of carbs I'm gonna be I think I'm gonna take parts from three different carburetors and maybe I can get one to work um, let me see which one it will be it won't be this this one I think it's gonna be this one this one here uh, it looks like a, it's a primer style uh, it's got a gasket for the bowl. Um, just needs a, 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 the float that was in it was this awful, uh, you know, deteriorating one. But I found another one in another car and took a needle and a bowl nut and every, all that stuff. So let's see. I need to see if this one ha actually has a... Uh, This one does not have a seat in it. So I'm gonna have to put a new seat in it. Rebuild one of these, they'll put a new seat in. Um, hopefully it's not one I took, I rebuilt once and didn't work right, so I kept it. And anyway, I didn't mark, mark on it. Anyway, you can, uh, I bought these seats. These are for Briggs and Stratton. The, um, <laughs> there is a, Grew side one side, the other side smooth. So the grew side goes into the carburetor um, like this. And if I, you know, I could, if this doesn't work, I'm just gonna go have to go buy another carburetor. They're not that expensive. It's just that this is what I have on hand. So you just put it in like that. And if you don't have a pick, you can use like a paper clip. Uh, I didn't, it didn't seat in right. So, 
Oh, where'd it go? Yeah. Make sure you do this uh, in a, uh, over a tray or something so you don't lose this, because if you lose this, you'll never find it. Oh. Okay, it's in there, but now I have to take like an Allen wrench or a, uh, or like a screw, or a flat machine screw or something, and we're just gonna push this in. I haven't rebuilt one of these in a, a while. So I'm gonna push that in. And now we're just gonna reassemble the carburetor. So with these parts I got from a donor carburetor, Jet is clean. I need to just get a little carb spray through it. It doesn't hurt. I'm gonna make sure this does not spray in my face. There. Yep, it's clear. So we've got a bull nut, gasket for it. Here's a float bowl. I mean, here's a bowl. And here's the float. So we're gonna take the float. Actually, I think we might want to clean up this needle a little bit. It's got a little bit of corrosion on it. Let me just... Uh... Help it out there. Just sprayed it and cleaned it off on the sides. That should be good enough. Oh, we re to re reassemble, we take the float, stick the needle on it like that. Then we take the carburetor, we angle it so that it uh, goes in, and we take our pin and uh, just uh, put it in. If it's good, it should be flat like that. If it's pushed up, it's not going to run right. If it's yeah, okay, it should be level like that. So this hopefully will be a good. So let's just put the bowl on. Well, just to be on the safe side. Rinse it off. Make sure there's nothing on it. Then take your new clean your clean bowl and jet nut and a half inch socket and let's put this back on this is going to be the backing or plate box for it this is used but the power is good this is the one that was in it it's a little hard um so still usable but i'd rather get the newer better one on there so let's just uh put this on got three inch bolts i had them i put them in my parts tray <laughs> Uh, anyway, get this back on, or like that, let it hang. Get started, get the other one. I'm using a drill mine, okay? On there let's see if we can put this fuel line on and not break it it is hard as a rock I don't want to replace it quite yet
There we go. Yeah, carburetor runs. I'm gonna stick some fuel in it. And well, let me uh, put the cover on to so I can prime it. Make sure it primes. Got some go-go juice into the carburetor. This one and it kicked over for a second. The gas tank is bare. There is oil in it, but it needs to be changed. Yeah. So let's, uh, actually, let's just stick some. A little bit of gas in. That should be enough. stinks but so let's see if it primes It does run. Um, just realized it's got a brand new spark plug. Um, I had to stick it outside because it was leaking gas. Uh, I don't know where from. Yeah, Maybe the fuel line. Let me just go. Since I know this is going to be a runner, I'm going to go ahead and replace I've the fuel line. Thing idling better. What I did was I took my hammer and bent this a little bit back so it calm it down. So, someone had monkey with it and probably messed that up, but that's okay. So, here we go. Uh, I'm gonna clean this up, put a new air filter in, put a new pull cord in it, change the oil, and sharpen the blade. And I may not film all those. Um, uh, this is just an this was just an interesting setup and on the uh, on how the priming system worked. I'll also remove the uh, this cable I remove because it's broken. Later, it seemed to stop. I put some used fuel line or whatever I found. If it, it may not, it may be vacuum to me. I don't know, but uh, I'll go to the auto parts store and uh, uh, grab myself a couple feet of uh, the proper fuel line. Um, but this is, you know, this is it. Um, Runs uh, okay. I got this, uh, got it all back together. Had a little difficulty with uh, some of the air filter box adaptations. Uh, I made it work though. So uh, this, this is a Scotts six horsepower Briggs had a funky primer set up so I converted it to a regular one it runs it had a new sparkle in it when I got it I guess gotta change the oil and sharpen the blade uh, I do have a bag for it it's got some tape on it but it works I may need to get a different fuel line I just put on what I had that would fit so here's gonna be a start I'm not probably not gonna do a start after I uh, um, change the oil for those of you who are interested there's a model number this is made by murray so let's uh yeah the funky primer setup before was you would just you would do this rather than have to go down there and push it which is kind of uh, anyway here we go so you can now you just uh Go down there and push it yourself. Big deal. This uh, 
this is that Scott's by Murray with a Briggs engine on it. I got it in as a trade-in. Um, there was a, I had to change the pull cord. I had to, um, this was, had some funky setup for uh, priming it so you could prime it from up here, but that cable was broken. So I changed the whole box to a regular primer one uh, and put in, Change, uh, put another carburetor in it that was used that, that I had to rebuild and I put another fuel line on it that wasn't cracked and I had to put, I put in a, uh, another blade on it because the one that was on it was bent just a little bit um, so here's gonna be your final start let me get my third hand of this 1996 I believe Murray, I mean, I mean, a Scots by Murray, and it is a primer style but now uh, from up here. And here we go. I gotta, you know, do a, do a little tidying up, but that's it.